Yes, people. Hope everyone's good. Um, well, after a, an entire month of pure know, speculation and nothing concrete, deadline day is proven to be very um, interesting. But yeah, as I'm doing this, it seems like Connor Roberts is on the verge of signing. So this video hopefully age as well. Because <laughs> if he doesn't now, here you got this anyway. So it's what it is. But yeah, straight into this scout report for Connor Roberts. Let's go. Got my little template as usual, because I like to be a little creative. Yeah, anyway. Ben Roberts, Scout Report, let's go. So I've got his basic stuff here. He's 28 years old, born in 1995, obviously plays for Burnley, 1.75 metres in terms of height, 76 kilograms. Main position right back. I think that's what we know. That's what we're after. That's the position he will play for Leeds United. Um I've also played left back and right wing. Um part of that role at right back under Vincent Company especially in the championship, was very central on the ball, like very central. Um, so that's something I'm going to speak about in a bit. Obviously, Wales international joining the, the rest of the lot, at least the entire Welsh national side now. But 54 Welsh caps, solid. Injury hit straight. Not, not terrible. There is one. Um, hit a groin in, in, in um, I think that was, I didn't actually do it. I think that was the 2020-21 season. We missed 100 days, 15 games. Um, and an infection there where he missed four games. But apart from that, fairly solid in terms of injury. So, class. Three stats. I've, my head is in the way. I, I apologize, people. Three stats. Championship has made 173 appearances in the championship in his entire career. So he was at Swansea and was at Burnley last season in the championship where they won the league. So played, I believe, with Dan James and Joe Rodon in that championship side. Welsh connection, played with these guys, won games with these guys, had good times with these guys. So there's a there's a good it's a good car to have in a changing room. Very good car. If you have a group of four or five players that that are used to each other and used to being part of that winning environment in, in, in you know, World Cups, Euros or whatever, as well as championship level, you know, that really infects the entire team and that's good because they're clearly good characters and people that will help other people around them so that's a big aspect and i think that's kind of the thinking of the recruitment as well um obviously made league two appearances as well 39 premier league appearances which is nothing to laugh at you know that's a decent amount um i think it was 2021 and obviously this season where he's made 13 13 to 14 league appearances and just look at the heat maps it's very clear um look at the 22 22 three, 23 season where he, a promotion with Burnley under Vincent Company, how much balance he brings to the side. And I'm going to talk about his, his, his attributes and the type of player he is in a minute because it's very interesting. And I believe there might be a slight switch potentially in, in, in the way we shape with him there. He's very different to Archie Gray in that sense currently. But that is the kind of, that, that one there is kind of the, the, the rhetoric that I'm going to go with, what I'm going to try and kind of base my opinion of him on. Um, because I think I think there's a different role for him. But yeah, as you can see, can stay deep, build the play up, very effective at building the play up. And that's a word that I'll use a lot in this video. That effectiveness is very effective. He's an effective football player. Effective, and that means in terms of movement on the ball, off the ball. Effective on the ball in terms of passing and movement, and and, and his kind of product, if you like, as a player on the ball. His product is really effective. Um, and we'll get into the stats in a second. Let's just go through his through my. This is from my observation of him. I've been looking on Wise Scout and looking at a few games, watching him a few games, and what I believe mixed with the stats that he had this year and last year and throughout his career, what I believe he is. So first touch and ball control. These things, these kind of technical attributes, very important in this side. I believe, obviously, as a possession based team, who wants to maintain the ball and be quick and effective with the ball. Is very important. So you can see first touch, ball control eight, very solid in those in those in those tight areas in in unfamiliar spaces. Can play centrally a lot. A lot of his build up play is central areas. In fact, most of it is or it was in the system we played for company. Might be a slightly different system with Daniel Farker, but I think the way in which Dan James plays and how much natural width he brings to the side. I think Connor Roberts. Advancing forwards, kind of between the box areas, is actually something that we might see. Again, 
the way in which we build up on the left with Kamara going out there and, and you know whoever we have on that side maintaining that width if, if it's Firpo I think we'll have a different dynamic on that right side we don't necessarily have that key build up I think with Archie Gray there we're quite Archie Gray and Dan James as a combo it's getting more effective each, each, each game it is and I like it and Archie Gray is getting more progressive in his understanding of his role and how to get forward better but it's quite one dimensional with the experience of Connor Roberts and his natural ability to move centrally, both deeper and further up the pitch, I think we could see some different dynamics in our side and make us less predictable. But yeah, recovery there, fine. Yeah, progressive ball carriage. He's not a dribbler. He's not someone that's going to take players on. He's not the quickest player. Um, he's a very smart player. Very smart. And his effectiveness, effectiveness geez, and his, his smartness, smartness, his brains, whatever, are kind of two things that stand out for me in this league. It's something that will massively help. Technical ability, yeah, he's a decent technical player, effective on the ball. Progressive passes, decent. Can't play simple passes, but can also look for them kind of, and then passes through midfields or through a, through a gap where Dan James are running. All right, we, we, he's going to get assists for Dan James, I assure you guys that. Tackling on Jules is fine. He's not the, the most dynamic defender. He's not someone that's going to, you know, destroy players or just completely back pocket them. But again, his positional awareness is very effective and helps him defensively. And he's decent 1v1 and he's decent in Jules without being exceptional. Yeah, defensive player there. And he gets a score of 73 out of 100, which is very solid and consistent, as you can see there. Physical. And again, this is this is him and combination of his actual attributes and how I think they will fare in this league. Um, using body to maintain the ball, effective in tight areas, is kind of all maintenance is, is really good. Um, something I like about him a lot. Acceleration, again, is not that quick. He's not, he's not as quick as Arch Gray. He's not going to get up and down like Arch Gray. The thing with, with him is, which I've already mentioned, he's already up. You know what I mean? You can see the move happening. He's got that experience, that understanding, that brain. You know, because with a player that isn't necessarily the most gifted player physically, you have to have that. That's the edge you have to have in football because physical players always have the advantage in football, right? But if you have that that smart kind of football IQ, that's where you gain your advantage from these players. And that's what makes you go to the top, you know, the championship, the Premier League, for example, playing for your national team. And you can see their physical attributes are very, very solid, generally. Movement in terms of off the ball, very good. Fitness. Immaculate, immaculate fitness, for real. Psychological, and this is this is as you can see his best attributes. I just think psychologically as a player is so consistent. Mentality, difficult moments he's had a few in his career. Not worked out Premier League this season, of course. He was there under Sean Dyche, where he had a slightly deeper role and was actually very effective in that role a few years ago. But under Vincent Company, has seen himself more as a progressive player. Um, but yeah, he's got persistence. Leadership's decent. But his calmness, his reading of the game technically, which probably could be a 10 for this level. And again, this is this level, by the way, of the championship. Thinking speed, yeah, IQ. Got it. Unlock. Concentration. Excellent. 60 out of 70. Brings me to the kind of overall thing. Yeah, key strengths, you know, effectiveness and knowledge. Two things that stand out for me has been key in this role and allowing us to have different ways to progress the attack. I, I, gen, I genuinely think that side of it is better than the kind of output which he can bring and which he did bring. It's that, it's that, it's that progression. We're all about progression. We're all about finding different ways to break down teams that set up against us, right? That, that's the key. And this guy is that different player um, what we currently have in that right-back position. And he'll find different ways to what Archie Gray can. Movement off the ball, unbelievable. Passing range, decent. You'll find, I'll show you the stats in a minute. Experience, good. Mentality, excellent. Improvements, have like traits, pace, dribbling. Not, it's, it's not his type. It's not that type of player. Some of the players there. And then, obviously, technical, B, physical, A, uh, psychological. They should be the other way around. I apologize. It should be B, B, A, A for psychological. Overall, B plus. Very solid player at this level for these United one that will massively help 
break down teams and find a different way to attack and make us more fluid, I believe, personally. And we'll end on the stats, people. Again, and you know what? I actually look at his stats. I've not got them here, but his Premier League stats when he has played this season are actually fairly decent. So it's not like he had a good year under Vincent Company and he's been terrible. No, when, he, when he's been called upon, yeah, it's, I don't think he's got that edge in the Premier League that maybe you need to get to where maybe Burnley won. I don't know, personally, but maybe the way they played now is slightly different and they need someone a bit more quicker, a bit more athletic on that side. But we're going on the Championship season last season from, from the rhetoric because that's the situation we're at and the level we're at. But successful actions, and this is... By the way, this is unbelievable. For a, for a fullback as well, aggressive fullback, 76% successful actions in the entire game per 90 is, is a joke. And that's 81 actions. It's a lot of actions. Very involved in every aspect of their build up. Very involved in goals and assists, as you can see from right back. Six assists and four goals, 10 goal involvements in 43 games last season from a right back position. The defence of company in the championship is very, very good. Passes, yeah, we'll look at his accurate passes there. 88%. Brilliant. That's what you need. Long passes, around half. Makes around 3.4 per game, which is actually quite a lot. Um, and half of them are successful. That's not bad, I believe. Forward passes, yeah. Again, it's about them, that progressiveness on the ball. 19.9 per game, so 20 forward passes per game from that right back position with an 80% success rate. It's, it's fairly solid. That's, <laughs> that's decent. Passes into the final third. Again, kind of that different option, like I mentioned. It'll pop up in different areas around the box for Archie Gray. Um, and it's a great mentor for Archie Gray to have, let's be honest. It really is. Especially someone that's done it at the championship level. So it's an excellent mentor for him. Um, final third passes. 79%. 7.2. 3-6 in the final third per game, which is fairly high for a right back again. Yeah, that's unbelievable, by the way. Say you have a forward pass rate of 80% in terms of success and just 1% less or 1-2% less from passes into the final third. Shows the effectiveness of this guy defensively and moving up the pitch. Um Aggressive runs 1.84, which is again fairly decent for a right back. Offensive duels won 46%. Offensive duel won 53%. So fine. Yeah, decent numbers. Nothing exceptional in terms of defensive numbers, but solid. Right. And that's what we require. Yeah, there's a lot of good things I like about this. Obviously, we did the report on Joe's channel, and it is one that I just think made the most sense. Um, for me, obviously, there were, I think there were potentially one or two. Targets that leads, kind of like the Kamara situation, he was linked right at the start and then it kind of thingied. I believe that's purely down to one wait for a Burnley replacement, which they literally got the day we're recording this video. That's why they got the green light. That's why we didn't move quicker because Burnley literally went, no. <laughs> um, and there's clearly one or two more ambitious targets that we did try to get, which didn't come out. So then Burnley got their, their defender in and Conor Roberts became available. So... Good business for me. Um, this is not talking about the window. This is just about this player, so I won't talk about anyone else. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. How you think he'll get on. Fingers crossed I've not released this video on Kirsters. Um, it's, I apologize. Um, games a game, minute. Yeah, like it. Won the league last year. It was very good in terms of going forward and helping Burnley progress or attack in different ways. Effective player. Played with three or four of these guys. Will be a good experience. From right back, which we have lost in Luke Aylin. So I'm very happy with it. It works for me. It just works for me. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate all the support as usual. And hopefully, I'll see you later when maybe there's one or two more. Probably not, but 